Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have a local beer. This is from the Fatheads Brewing Company located in Middleburg Heights, Ohio. And this is the Bonehead, described as a double hoppy red ale. Oh, it's not for lightweights. Mm, no, it's not for lightweights. It checks in at 9% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 80. Now, the date stamp on the bottom says that it's 98 days old. I don't think that's going to matter too much. Um, it's not an IPA. It's a red ale. Red ales will keep much longer than an IPA. It says double hoppy. Now, I don't know. I might have written down what kind of hops are in here. Let me check on it after I pour. Uh, I've got this glassware from uh, a fathead, so we might as well use it. It's really not my first choice of glass for this beer, but what the heck, let's use it. Let's pour it straight in and make some lovely foam, what do you think? While I hold this up here, I will tell you that I did not write down anything about the hops. <laughs> I thought I did. Ah, well, hey, it's a very beautiful, man, I don't know. That's almost a mahogany color, huh? It's a lot lighter in front of me than it is on the screen there. Of course, these other monitors are better monitors. Let's see what kind of aroma we can pick up here. Oh, we. Oh, it is hoppy and it is multi. We. Now it's kind of being funny pouring that in so fast because I wanted to fill the glass up. This is a. A 15 ounce glass, and it's only a 12 ounce beer, so I wanted to make some nice foam on. But uh, let's go ahead and drink the beer because that uh, that foam is not going to go anywhere. It's a nice bit of beige foam on there, and I'm going to call that mahogany because that's what it is. Hey, we're going to thank the uh, brewers there at Fat Heads for all the hard work they do. Man, I'm telling you, they make some fabulous beer. If you've never had anything from Fat, from fat Heads, let me get it out. Uh, go out of your way to find it because you won't be disappointed. I guarantee you that, man. I guarantee you. So cheers to the brewers and cheers to you at home. Wow. That is hoppy. Woo. Woo. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. I let this warm up about 20 minutes. I think I should have served it a little more on the cool side, but it's still pretty darn good. Mmm. It's got some nice roasted malt in there, some lightly roasted malt, not dark roasted, lightly roasted malt. Got some nice caramel in there, and then I'm not sure what kind of hops those are, but it gives it a nice dry, bitter finish. Oh, we getting a little bit of that alcohol right there, just a touch. You get a little, little warm right there. I tell you what, uh, I went last time I went to Fat Hits uh, Brew Pub was when I was still living in Cleveland. That's been that's been almost eight years ago. But, um, yeah, it's on the west side of Cleveland in a suburb called North Olmstead, Ohio. And I got their flight. Now, at the time, they had 22 beers on tap. Their own beer. 22. <laughs> yeah, I was there for a while. I walked over to the mall. It's pretty close to the North Olmstead Mall out there. And I went over there and uh, I went to Smoky Bones and had some dinner. And then uh, walked around, and by the time a couple hours went by, it was okay to drive. <laughs> I was almost going to leave my car there and take the bus, but I found out that the bus stopped running at 6 o'clock, so I, I would have been kind of stuck there. Yeah, 
Um, oh, man, that was that was a fun time. That was a fun time. And look at look at the head on that beard. Look at that. He's not going anywhere. Never had a beer from Fat Heads that I thought was iffy, and I never will. I never will. Uh, they're just one of those brewers that everything they put out is fantastic. Even the Session Ale, which is really light-bodied, is still decent. I mean, it's a good beer. Yeah. So I like their motto, chill out, man, have a beer. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm telling you, uh, this is definitely a full-bodied beer with a full mouthfeel. It's got medium carbonation, and it's just everything that you would want in a red ale. Now, if you're looking for more of a traditional red ale, which is more malty than this, you may not like it. But I tell you what, give it a shot, because even though it's a lot hoppier than a traditional red ale, Man, it's packed full of flavor. Now, just be careful. That's 9%. That's why you don't see me drinking it. <laughs> yeah. 9%. Your body knows it's 9%. I guarantee you your body knows it's 9%. Yeah, this is so good. I just can't tell you how good that is. Oh, man. That is brewery, man. The bonehead. I may have had this before. It sounds familiar, but I tell you what, when you drink as many different beers as I do, it's practically impossible to keep track of them all. What does that say? Oh, it says award winning. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, they've got quite a few uh, gold medals, man. I tell you, this, this brewery right here is uh, just one of the very best. I hope they never sell out to AB InBev. Oh, my gosh. I hope they never sell out to anybody. I understand, though, when, when the company throws millions of dollars at you, I understand it's tough to turn down because that's life-changing money that could impact your family for generations to come. But um, I, don't, uh, I don't believe these guys are going to sell out. At least I hope they don't. All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy. And until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they it, it charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. 
Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month, and there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.